What's up, Hex players? I'm back with another Rock Standard deck build, and it's the Furry Co. Combo deck. I've been fine-tuning this one for a little while now, and it's finally running the way I like it, so I figured it's time to share it. So for the resources, I'm running 24. If you're going to favor a color, I'd favor Wild, since there's only a few Sapphire cards. If you're a newer player and don't have the common and uncommon resources yet, I'd suggest getting the Ice Shards first before getting the Dual Color Shards since they have Fate Weave and it lets you choose whether or not you're going to get a resource the next turn. And this helps prevent resource flooding or droughts. Moving on to troops, we have three Stinkhorn. I usually use these as early blockers and a type of removal since they have lethal which kills anything it deals damage to. I have four Skittering Cultivator. On the offensive, they generate two Dreadlings, and with four defense, he makes a decent blocker. There's three Blight Bush. I also use these as blockers early on, and as a kind of anti-removal, since it replaces itself with two one ones. And then we have the three Wakasashi War Bunnies. All it has to really do is be on the board to give all the Shroomkins plus one attack. I'm using two constants, the first of which is Fueling Station, which gives all your troops Gladiator 2. We use it to buff the board like War Bunny. But unlike the War Bunny, it affects all our troops. The other constant I use is Shoku's Garden. It generates two Dreadlings when you play it. And as long as it stays in play, you gain one life whenever a Dreadling dies. You can also have more than one of these in play and gain the effect for each. I have two forms of removal. The first being Crackling Tide. It's only temporary removal, but it also gives us a charge counter so we can get to Furico's power sooner. And three Shackling Strands to lock down the bigger threats. The next card kind of stands out on its own because you have three choices. You can summon four Dreadlings, gain seven life, or create two Valor. You're almost always going to use this to create the four Dreadlings, although late game, if you haven't drawn into a garden or it got destroyed, it's nice to have the ability to gain seven life sometimes. You're also going to want to hold on to these until after you've played a War Bunny or a Fueling Station so you can get the maximum effect out of it but I like using it because it gives you some options. That said, the card is kind of pricey. For a while, I was only running two, and I had two Dread Deployment in instead. As long as you have a Skittering Cultivator or a War Bunny, Dread Deployment will also make your four Dreadlings, and it might be a little more affordable. Next is Arcane Soil, which is a very important card for the deck. It replenishes your hand and generates Dreadlings. You draw two cards and then create a Dreadling for each card that's in your hand. By the time you play this, you should have a couple cards on the board that synergize with it pretty well, either boosting their attack or gaining life from them. Then the last card, Consult the Talon. It's a great draw card for this deck, since you can exhaust up to three troops, and each will reduce its cost by two. So in the end, tapping three troops lets you pay just one to draw three cards. And it's pretty easy to accomplish with this deck. So going up against an Illuminate deck, I like to use interrupts like Verdict of the Kings and Weave into Nothing to stop their best Illuminate cards. And I use Palm of Granite to get to Arcane Soil faster or... Furico's charge power. And against Verdict, again, we use Interrupts to stop most Verdict triggers. We can use Arcing Winds to clear out any constants that stick. You can also use it to clear out runes. And you can add in Turbulence since the deck runs a lot of flying troops. So I think that's it for this build. Hopefully I covered everything well enough. If you like the deck, please let me know by commenting or hitting the like button. It also helps me get noticed, and if you haven't already, subscribe for more. Until next time, thanks for watching.